Greetings all, Frog here. Let's learn some Kerbal Space Program. This is the third time I've now attempted to record this episode. Uh, you may notice that we are not orbiting uh, Kerbin. That is partially because while we were orbiting Kerbin, something glitched in the game and we could no longer see anything on the main screen. All I could do is watch it on my previous screen for OBS, which made it pretty much unwatchable because you can't read any of the text that uh, Gene Kerbin was saying. And I tried. Anyway, I mean, I recorded six videos or six minutes of that playthrough, um, and then we ran out of fuel, and so we were stuck actually in an orbit uh, around Kerbin, and I could never land. So that's that's kind of a bummer. And then I came back in, started over. We decided we're going to do some career mode because uh, I think I've done enough training. The training that's there, other than the fact that I don't know how to land these things, is pretty much for things that we're not going to do for a while. So we might as well just leave them. So I started, recorded five minutes of that video, went into the space plane hangar, and the same thing happened. That the information was not on the main screen, I could only watch it on the OBS projection. Uh, it's what happened with City Skylines, why I couldn't play it. So obviously there's a problem in Unity. I'm assuming that this is, must be programmed in Unity, I don't know. But there's a problem with the Unity implementation in Linux that obviously has not been fixed. Awesome. So we're going to just come back in, we're going to start a new career mode, we're going to call this Purple Frog. We're going to select our custom purple frog fl flag that I have made. We're going to play on normal. We're going to start. Yes, I want to overwrite it. We're just going to start over. Start from scratch. I've already read this. Um, I could read it for you, but it's basically this is all the stuff. Here's what you do. So we're not going to go inside of this because that's what caused the problem. So we're, let's just keep learning. Um, I know. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. I didn't mean to come into here. We're now in the whatever this is. Let's get out of here for a second. Um... I've gone, uh, the, we have a runway, there is a runway, it's not a very good one, but there's a runway. Uh, I can't handle anything, so you can see max weight 18 tons, if I upgrade even once it goes to 140, so we can actually do some real stuff. This is the um, uh, space plane hangar that when we entered crashed the game. And what is this? This is the astronaut complex, it contains the living and recreation spaces for all our crew members. New applicants are also applied here to be recruited. Okay, that's cool. So capacity is five active Kerbals, uh, and you can only disembark on Kerbin. When we upgrade it, then they can perform EVAs, and um, on EVAs can place down flags. And they have 12 active Kerbins, so that's cool. When we get up to 75,000 ducats, because they must be ducats, obviously. This is very tiny. This is the administration building. The administration building may not seem like a very exciting place at first, but here's where all strategic decisions are made. So we can have one active strategy and 25% max commitment. First upgrade, we can go up to three, and then six. Let's try and enter this, and it works. Okay. Um, so we've got Mortimer Kerman. He's an accountant called Mortimer. He doesn't have many friends, but he likes things to be under control and arranged in right angles. This job is pretty stressful for him. Linus Kerman is the science guy. He is Werner von Kerman's intern. Because Werner himself is too important to be bothered with these boring strategy meetings, he sends his intern. Walt Kerman, Walt Kerman is the spokesperson for the space program. He wears a hazmat suit, which isn't strictly required for his job, but it seems appropriate for someone working in such a toxic environment. And Gus Kerman, the operations, is head of space program ops and all-around repairs guy whenever something around here breaks down. We hope nothing catches fire while he's here. So I can select stuff as a focus. And I'm guessing this stuff is, is locked because it's dark gray. So leadership initiative takes 5% commitment. We can't afford it. There's too much. It's, oh, it costs too much money. Okay. So we could research rights, sell out. We could make a quick buck from the science the R&D team has collected by selling exclusive research rights to the highest bidder. Yes, that means we wouldn't be able to make use of that science ourselves, but for exclusive rights, I'm sure we could fetch a pretty penny from some lame agency or conglomerate. Excuse me, large agency or conglomerate. So plus zero funds, but there's a star there. Minus zero science. It's effective immediately. A bailout grant gives us 12,189.326 ducats, and we lose reputation. So we don't want to do any of those. We did patent licensing, all this interesting things. Okay, well, we'll play with that later. This is the story of a girl. Grand River drowned the whole world. This is connected to this, apparently. R&D. At the R&D facility, our team of scientists works hard to crunch data received from mission experiments. Here, all research technologies can be viewed anyone's discovered. Research science limit is 100. On upgrade, we can go to 500. And we can astronaut complex upgrade is required to go for EVA service samples and resource transfer would become available when we get up to that level. So that's that's a lot of money. We enter this. We can enter this just fine. This is our 
R&D. Start has been researched. So we get all these available parts. They do things. Cool. We could research basic rocketry and engineering, but we can't get there yet. We need five science. We don't have five science. So this gets us a science kit thing, a transmitter, and a stack decoupler. So we can't actually do decouplings until we get that. This is a fuel tank, a solid fuel booster, and a liquid fuel engine. So we can't do anything until we get to there. So we can do solid fuel with this. We can contain mystery goo. Uh, interesting. It says this unit was something one of our engineers came upon while dumpster diver while researching alternative applications for existing technologies. Yes. It's a sealed container which appears to be filled with a strange looking substance. We couldn't reach in or break the canister open, but watching how the goo behaves when subjected to different situations can be very educational. So we have one of those. We can observe mystery goo. It's uh, collectible data. You can only do it once, apparently. Oh, it is resettable. It's just not rerunnable. It's very strange. We got a girder segment, solid fuel booster, a command pod, a fin, and a parachute. That'd be nice if we had... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. It'd be nice if we had more fuel. But we don't have any science. So we can't science any of this. Technology. Science archives. We have done no science. Thanks, Werner. You're useless to me. Back we go. This is... Not clickable? It is clickable. Tracking station. As a tracking station, all ongoing missions can be viewed and focused. Landed craft can be covered from here as well. Orbits visible on the map. Uh, patched conics visible in the map. I don't even know what that is, but uh, we, can, we can get that. Let's go in. Uh-oh. Oh, it still works. Okay, good. Hi again. This is the tracking station facility. In here, you can view all of the solar system, as well as the current positions and trajectories of all ongoing missions. When you have missions in progress, you'll see them listed on the panel at your left, and you'll be able to take command of them from the screen. Sometimes contracts may require specific destinations in orbit or the surface. Those will also be visible here. Lastly, if you want to see the same map view during flight, just hit the M key. Alright, so it's our flight view. All right. Apparently we have two orbiting bodies, the moon and Minimus. Minimus. We have Eve, Moho, and Duna as our closest celestial neighbors. And then we get farther out for Dress. And Jewel, and then an eccentric orbit of Elu. This one's slightly eccentric also. And that's it. That's our solar system. That's everything we know right now. Do we know if they have moons? Oh, we don't know anything about them. Okay. Back we go. What's this? Oh, that's all R&D. So this whole little thing is R&D. This whole little thing is tracking. That's the launch facility. The launch pad is where vessels built at the VAB are launched. We are reasonably confident it's a safe enough distance from everything else. Max vessel size 20 meters by 21.2 meters and gross weight of 18 tons. I'm assuming it's gross weight. We can upgrade it to get to 140 tons. We can enter it, but there's really no point. Uh, so here is the vehicle assembly building. It's where spacecraft are designed and built before being moved over to the launch pad for flight. 30 supported parts. We can go up to 255 and basic group actions will be available. R&D, astronauts, that, what's this? Mission Control, at Mission Control Facility, all available contracts can be managed. It also offers a very nice view of the launch sites for those who are brave enough to be so close for launching craft. Contracts of two, now we can go up to seven. And we'd have to have tracking station upgrade to get flight planning. So, if we enter... Welcome to Mission Control, please make a selection. So we can gather scientific data from Kerbin. Oh, so these are things to do. These are just available things. So let's gather scientific data from Kerbin. Okay, gather scientific data from Kerbin. Kerbin World Fat First Record Keeping Society. The chief bookkeeper from the Kerbin World First Record Keeping Society would be the first to admit that they were really stumped by whether we actually didn't have any goal in mind. It's true, though, that the way we would frequently see an unlikely crash landing was how we got into that situation in the first place. Anyway, this is why we're here. Give us a quick crew report before launching. It's fine if any of the lights on the control panel are flashing. Just give it a swift kick. 
prestige is trivial, expires then. Recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. And we get 4,100 ducats. Um, we get 7,600 ducats of completion plus a science three prestige. If we fail, we lose 4,400 ducats. Let's do it. I don't know how to do it. Well, there we go. Gather scientific data from Kerbin. Recover or transmit any science experiment from Kerbin. We just have to do science on Kerbin. That's fine. Launch our first vessel. Okay, that's the same thing. We'd like to officially start the space program with a bang, a very controlled bang, preferably. Launch your first vessel off the launch pad or runway to achieve this goal. Oh, we don't have to do a vertical launch. We could do a runway launch. That seems insane. Escape the atmosphere. And orbit Kerbin. All right, so we'll take, obviously, the two first level easy ones because that's, I'm sure, what we're supposed to do. So let's go back out. we got to collect some science. R&D. Can you get me some science? That's not what you do. That's not what you do. We need, we need, uh, we need a Kerbin. I've got four available Kerbins. None of them are assigned. Hey, Bob. I'm not going to fire Bob. Hey, Bob. How do I sign into a mission? Hey, Bob. Bob. I don't know how to interact with him. Oh, high stupidity, high courage. Highly prized. Alright, well, I don't know what to do with that. I'm not going to go in there. That's what crashed the game. Strategy, we're not worrying about. R&D, we're not going into. I want mission control. Mission control... How do I get... How do I do... How do I complete these? I want to do science on Kerbin. How do I do that? There is no deadline. That's very nice. How do I complete this? I guess we get on the launch pad and then we go from there. Okay, let's hope we can go into this and not crash the game. Cross your fingers. Awesome. Hello, I am Werner von Kerman, Chief Rocketry Engineer. This is the Vehicle Assembly Building. Here is where we build spacecraft and later roll them onto the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Alright, we did all that. Alright. Why can't I move you? I know I've right clicked and moved this thing before. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. Let's build a spacecraft. We've got a nose. There's my little flaggy. That's awesome. Ah, okay. You need a you need a part before you can start looking around. That makes sense. All right, we'll put you right there. I need a parachute. Was probably a good idea. I have no fuel tanks. I do have a simple engine. Well, consider my sound to be a little more than a trash bin full of boom. The RT-5 can be seen and used at many space programs, perhaps possibly because it's the only option for many space programs. But nevertheless, this small booster provides a nice kick to lift small payloads to considerable heights. Use with caution, though, once lit, solid fuel motors cannot be put out until the fuel runs out. Let's put a little solid fuel booster underneath that. And a control structural. And then girders. It's probably the only way these are going to be able to stay in flight. Um, fins, maybe? Utility, uh, parachute? That's pretty good. The Mark 16 parachute might be considered by some to be a little more than a random stitching together of the surplus parts it is, in fact, made from. But the fact remains that the M6, the Mark 16, has been widely accepted as generally better alternatives to being in freefall. That's true. Let's put a little parachute on there. There we go. Science? Mystery goo containment unit. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a little science. We'll do some science. Where's the door? We'll do science right next to the door. There you go. There's some science. Should we put one on the other side for aerodynamicy? Honestly, don't know. We should probably put fins on it, though, huh? Shouldn't we? Some fins for stability. Uh, is there a shortcut key for symmetry? There really should be. I like triple triple symmetry. 
don't know why it just has that nice look to it. Alright, so the fin is there, so we gotta put it... That'll work. Oh, don't put it up there, though. Put it down here. That's cute. Cute little thing. The, uh... Oh, it won't line up. Doesn't matter how you do it. That's just the way it is. So be it. Try to get the flag in the proper positioning. That's okay. And we're gonna need some girders. Otherwise, it's gonna fall off. this supposed to go? There we go. Cool. There you go. Is that how we launch? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't think so. Let's take these off. Let's put those back. Untitled spacecraft. Call it the, um, call it the Tadpole Mark 1. I like it. Tadpole Mark 1. That's good. That's what we got. That's our mission flag. Let's get some crew. We need a pilot. Valentina. Oh, Jebediah. Yep, you're in. Alright, cool. Alright, so Jebediah's in. Uh, we gotta work on this staging though. Because they really shouldn't be together. How do I edit this? Oh no. It froze. I just realized that. Because if I look, you see, why am I clicking all these things? It's doing a bunch of stuff. Why aren't you? Because I can't see it. Because my screen is frozen again. So I went into assign astronauts, came back out, and now I can't see anything except in the preview pane of OBS. So how do I do I make this into a different there we go. Cool, get rid of this one. But I think I need it to be in opposite orders, do I not? I'm pretty sure I do. So that way you dump the booster and then you can pop your parachute. Yeah, I think that's it. So, how do we save this guy? Click save. Okay. What's this? Launch. Load. New. Go to launch. Tadpole Mark 1. There it is. Um, Jebediah has got... We Apparently we can't... Uh, Oh, there he is. He's coming in clear now. That's cool. I don't think launching this when I can't really watch what's going on is a, is a solid idea. Can I do science? What are you? I, could, I can't read any of the text, of course. Well, we'll save the launch for the next time. We'll reload back into the game so I can actually see what's going on, and we'll, we'll launch from there. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.